Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel. You're here because you want to see how to do this challenge nice and easily. Guys, I'm going to show you. So we're going to jump straight in. So here's the base. All it does is take a bit of preparation. It took me about three attempts before I figured it out. So let's have a look at the base. First of all, inside that wall wrecker are some goblins and sneaky goblins. So we need to go directly for the town hall with that, but not yet. What we're going to do is we're going to start in that left-hand corner in just a moment with a baby dragon. Balloon down first looking for mines, then the baby dragon, and then we're going to use our heroes in a moment. We want the king to go into that compartment with the scatter shot and the queen walk, queen charge to go into that compartment with the eagle artillery. So I put the king down there. Baby dragon's done a great job. Couple of super wall breakers to open up both those compartments. Take it nice and easy, guys. This part of the attack is very important. So the king's gone into that compartment. That's great. Feel free to use a rage spell to help him out. The queen, look after her. Don't forget about her, as I've just, you know, I've really uh, forgot to help out the queen, but we just sort of helped her out in time there with a rage spell. Don't worry, she will come back across and take out that multi inferno in a moment. Don't let the unicorn get taken out, so use a free spell if you have to on that mouldy inferno. It's getting repaired. The unicorn's in danger. There's a free spell. Larry the Lava Hound is harassing the king. The king's off for a walk. He's had enough. And uh, what we're going to start thinking about is sending in the uh, wall wrecker by that cannon on the left hand side the queen's okay over there so there we go the wall wrecker is now moving towards the town hall the king's helping out but even if the king doesn't walk that way if you aim the wall wrecker straight at that cannon it should be fine you don't need to do anything guys the wall wrecker will reach the town hall no spells nothing the goblins sneaky goblins will take out that town hall so the queen's doing a great job she sort of funneled taking out half the base over there on the left so the next stage of the attack is going to be sending all the other troops on the right hand side with the Grand Warden and the Royal Champion. So there, watch the Town Hall now. Uh, the Sneaky Goblins, I think that, yeah, there they go. I'm sure it's, yes, Sneaky Goblins, goodbye Town Hall. So that's good. Queen's doing a great job. And now we're going to send in the rest of the troops. Remember to use the Poison Spell to help out the Queen. We've sent a Rage Spell there as well. Didn't really need to do that. And a Poison Spell as well. Now we're going to send in a couple of balloons over there to check for mines. Then the Dragon Riders, the Grand Warden, a couple of... Uh, Rocket balloons, send in the minion, the group of little minions there, including Mike the minion, of course. We use a rage spell to help them out. Send in the Royal Champion, Grand Warden ability, protect everybody. And as long as the beginning part of the attack goes okay, guys, you should get three stars. I found this worked really well. I just had to work out what was inside the wall wrecker, of course, but we know now. So if you are struggling, yeah, guys, this is a really nice and easy way to get three stars. And you'll see at the end how many troops we've got left as well. We did it quite comfortably. Sorry I've taken a bit of time to get this video out for you guys, uh, but uh, better late than never. Um, yeah. So I, was quite, I did feel quite professional, guys. I did feel quite professional getting this three-star attack. I thought, yeah, I could be in the world. And then I thought, no, I can't. No, no, I can't. Uh, so anyway, the queen's moving in to help out now. She's still a uh, queen walking, queen charging, queen running, whatever you want to call it. And guys, we're even going to have an invisibility spell left over. And all these spells that you have left over, do you know what I like to do? I put them in my pocket and take them out into real life. That's right, guys. If you're walking through town, oh, shortcut to the shops. But there's a wall there. Doesn't matter. Put a jump spell down. Oh, no. I'm being attacked by seagulls. Invisibility spell. They go off and harass somebody else. Easy, guys. Yes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Join the Samus Army. I'll see you later. Take care.